part eight of our conversation with Mark Farner. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Grand Funk had huge albums in the 70s, like Closer to Home from 1970, which featured the title tune along with I'm Your Captain. E Pluribus Funk were an American band which featured the title song, All the Girls in the World Beware. And there were hits like Locomotion, Some Kind of Wonderful, and Bad Time. Here's Mark Farner. You know, when I heard uh, Bad Time, it, it, and literally, and I love telling this, I say this a lot to the people I interview, because it's an honor for me to be able to tell you that. I remember going, what? When I heard that song, for instance, then you told me about the fight. Was it in the kitchen? With Yeah, yeah. She was in the kitchen and I was in the dining room at the piano. Yeah. And it just came out, eh? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Going to put that 12-inch cast iron skillet through my forehead. <laughs> and I just figured it was a bad time to be in love. <laughs> did, did Was it your idea to start cold with the lyrics, like with the, with the vocal like that? Yes. Because that's uh, what got the attention. That, that gets people just, and also the way you sang. You had a certain, there was a little, and, and I'm not an expert in this, but there was a, sh- a certain sharpness on on one end of your voice that it always made me say, wow, you woke me up with your voice. Ah, good. Thank you, Lord God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in 1970, everything that was good around that era, I'm your captain closer to home. Everything that was good. To, uh, if, if someone had to ask me, play me a song that represented everything that's good about 1970, I would have said, that 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 anthem those pieces that's just so great how did you come up with that that was uh under pressure <laughs> it, it really when we first got together and we were in the the flint federation of musicians hall on Averill in flint and and frank geyer would come out and say you boys turn them things down we can't even hear the damn phones ring you know uh we started writing them. We started writing the first album. I say we. Um, they would go after I come up with a jam, and 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 they they liked it and played. You know, yeah, let, we could. If you got words for it, I said, well, now, nah, yeah, I, they're coming though. I, like, are you ready? Like, yeah, I, I wrote that there, and and I mean, and most of the first album, and and even in Heartbreaker was written before that, but it always came from. Uh, you know, having to have a song, having to have the lyrics. And I, I constantly was coming up with jams because as a musician, I was being fed from the spiritual part that I definitely hook up with. And from being, my ears were being satisfied by people like Aretha Franklin and uh, little Stevie and Donny Hathaway and uh, and my favorite of all, Howard Tate. Howard Tate, when he sang, it was like what you were saying, Brother John. The uh, that sharpness to it. There was something that about his voice that was catching my ear. And man, did it catch it! And I patterned my style because I love to hear him express himself. And so I took some of his stuff, like the double huff. Instead of just singing, ah, you go, hey, you hit it twice. It's a double huff. Oh, you know, it's just a little trick, but it's a little emphasis that if you do it right and you form your words around those, it gives it the soul satisfaction. We'll have more from Mark Farner coming up next week. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. Buy a t-shirt, help support the channel. If you want to make a donation, there's a link at the very top in the description of this video. I'm John Bowden. Take care of yourself.